hello my divine kings and queens i'm back to do another video um and today what i want to go over is i want to let you know that you are worthy i want to let you know that you are worthy of the doors of opportunity that god is opening up for you you are worthy of all the blessings that he is bringing your way you are deserving of you are deserving of you know better situations um, than what you're currently in right now. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of times that, you know, we go through situations in our lives, right? And sometimes we get downtrodden and we get overran with what people's expectations are of us. So we, 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 we tend to become so consumed with other people's or others' expectations of us, uh, judgment, how we're being viewed, you know, how we should move in life, how we should talk, how we should look, how we should act, what we should have, um, <clears throat> what we should accomplish in life. There are a lot of times that we have to lose ourselves in order to find ourselves again. And it's not always easy to make certain decisions, you know, that will help you get to where you need to be in life. Sacrifices that need to be made. Um, but it all works together to get you where you need to be and where God wants you to be. He wants you to start viewing you how he views you. And a lot of you don't because of other people's judgment, expectations, um, and asks of you, right? There are a lot of people, a lot of you who've gone through your life <clears throat> and you were in very unhealthy, toxic situations. It could have been, you know, in your family, it could have been in friends, it could have been in work um, relationships that you had with people. But let me tell you something, even work environments. But there's a lot of you who at the end of the day did not feel worthy. Um, every time I feel that a blessing was brought your way or opportunity presented itself to you, you didn't know how to handle it. Maybe some of you fumbled, fumbled it. Maybe some of you didn't realize uh, what God was doing for you or what he was trying to do for you. And that's okay. A lot of times you don't have people that tell you, Hey, it's okay. You have people that tell you, Oh, you was raised better. You knew that you, what was, was right and wrong. You knew this, but let me tell you something. Sometimes and you doing what's wrong, it does not mean that God will back up and stop loving you. It means he'll back up and allow you to make that decision, take that path so that you understand what to do right next time. And it's going to guide you back on the right track. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of times people don't know your journey. They don't know what God is setting up for you. They don't know how he's going to set it up. And in, in him setting it up and what's been predestined for you, it is going through life. And learning through those life experiences, learning through those situations, learning from those people that you encounter and not always doing everything right. Right. Not always seeing what the bigger picture is. A lot of you guys made certain decisions because you did not know what your self-worth was. You did not, you know, value yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and it's because of the things that you went through that you had this certain mindset of feeling like, well, God, I know you say that I'm worthy, but I don't feel that I'm worthy. So I'm going to go ahead and stay in this toxic in this toxic situation because this all I know. This 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 is it for me. This this is all I can get. This is this is all I'm worthy of having. You know, God, I, I, I know you say that I'm worthy for, for starting my own business, but God, you know, I don't feel that I'm worthy for that. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what's the first step or approach to take in starting to do something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, be simple minded, be small minded. And I'm going to just go ahead and stay in this situation right here. And it's not necessarily saying that a lot of you who at the end of the day, whether you work or whether you're entrepreneurs, all I'm saying is when God is trying to place you on a different path and he's telling you that you're worthy. And you're coming back in, it's a rebuttal. You're like, I don't I don't feel worthy, so I'm going to stay in this. I don't feel worthy, so I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to feel worthy, so I'm going to remain stuck and stagnant. And I'm going to hold myself back. So now it's no longer about what else is holding you back and who else is holding you back. It's what I need to do so I can stop holding myself back. A lot of you feel like you fell short in a lot of situations. A lot of you, you don't see the bigger picture because you've been hurt. There's a lot of you who stay in certain situations because that's all you know. You've known it for so long. There's so much history there. 
history does not necessarily mean that, you know, what you built was built on a firm and steady and healthy foundation. It's just history. It's just you've known this person for a long time. You've been with this person for a long time. You're comfortable. You're familiar with that person. You don't want to step out on faith and step into what's new. And it could very well mean that in doing so, you're stepping into what God has for you. But sometimes we don't realize what God has for us because we're too busy focused on what we want for us. Sometimes what we want for us isn't the right thing. It isn't the best thing. It isn't the healthiest thing for us. You understand what I'm saying? What can we do or what can you do as an individual and as a person to get yourself out of this mindset where you feel unworthy? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's prioritizing yourself and understanding that you know what and being in those unhealthy situations, I learned what a healthy connection is and a, a healthy situation that I want for myself by, the, by being in this unhealthy situation, right? By making those mistakes, by doing those wrongs, you understand what plan you want for your life and you understand how you're going to put it together, how you're going to formulate it and how you're going to, at the end of the day, implement it into your everyday life. Because you've been in those unhealthy situations, you've been in those toxic situations, and you say, you know what, this drained me, it didn't benefit me, this took from me, it didn't add to me, this took me down, it didn't bring me up, it didn't benefit me in no type of way. You understand? Sometimes we don't realize when people are draining our resources because we're not setting firm uh, boundaries with people. That's part of realizing who you are, your value, your worth, what you bring to the table and saying, you know what? I'm not going to allow you to drain me. I'm not going to allow you to deplete me. I'm not going to allow you to have me doubting myself. Hold on. Who are you? Wait a second. I think what I need to do is reevaluate and reassess this situation because this ain't it. This ain't hitting on it. I know I'm deserving of what's better. It's about high time that I start realizing that so I can step into it. God wants you to be in a different mindset uh, when he bring these blessings your way. He's bringing it your way. It's coming, baby. Ain't, ain't Can't nobody stop you but you. That's what this message is saying. Can't nobody stop you but you. When you learn to get up out your own way, you start to see things the way that God needs you to see them. When you start value, valuing and prioritizing yourself, realizing your self-worth, you start seeing yourself in the manner that God sees you. He wants to show you off to the world. There's a certain way he, he's, he's going about doing it. You have to learn certain things so that when he brings these blessings your way, baby, you're not going to allow people to just come in and have their way with you, come in and deplete you, come in and have you doubting yourself, have you depressed, have you down and out, feeling downtrodden. About something that's not even your problem. You got enough problems to handle on your plate. You don't need to be taking on everybody else's problems. How does that benefit you? That's a part of realizing your value, realizing your worth. Hold on. You taken from me. At this point, I have the power. I have the control. I can choose whether or not I'm going to continue to invest in this situation if I see where the energy is not being reciprocated. Right? That's part of prioritizing. That's part of valuing and realizing your self-worth, baby. You get up every day, no matter what you go through, no matter how you feel, no matter what you went through, because I can tell you, you went through it for a reason. If you're sitting here and you're watching this video and you're clicking on it, you're watching it for a reason. If you're sitting here and it's resonating with you and you're saying, you know what, Victoria, I done been through these things. I've, I've had my time where I didn't value myself. You're right. I ain't going to you know, be mad at you about how you're saying it. You're right. You're hitting it on the head. But let me tell you something. It does not necessarily mean that you're going to sit up here and change right after you watch this video. I don't expect that. But what I would want is for you to start taking the necessary steps towards moving in the right direction, in valuing, in prioritizing, in realizing your self-worth. Because, baby, you were somebody and you are a big deal. If you went through the bullying, if you went through the harassment, you went through it for a reason. People sense and know what you're about who you're about and what you're going. I know it may seem like, well, a person can't just look at me and know what I'm going to be in life. This is why you got haters. You got haters and you got supporters. You know what I'm saying? Those haters, at the end of the day, they love you deep down inside. But see, the reason why they're a hater, they ain't going to show it and publicize it. 
because a part of them feels, well, they doing something that I never was able to do for myself or my life. But there's a lot of people who realize who you are, baby. This is why they all grouped up together and tried to make you feel some type of way. This is why a lot of people group up together and talked about you, did certain things that put you in this mindset of feeling like I'm not worthy and you not, and I'm not deserving of this. And let me tell you something, the devil is a lie. Because what you're going to start doing is taking the next the, the steps towards regaining your power, taking your power back because you are in control and you are worthy of everything that's coming your way. So stop beating yourself up. Stop tearing yourself down. Stop being hard on yourself. We've all been there. We've all did what was wrong. Some of us still doing it. Some of us going to still do it after we watch this video. I'm, I'm too real to be fake. I'm sorry. Just because you watch a video, you read something in a book, you hear this, you hear this message here. It does not mean that, oh, I can just do this overnight. Healing, transitioning, elevating does not come overnight. I don't know who tell you that if they tell you this, they, they are lying to you and they're not setting you up for success. This is a process. Anyone who you ever talked to who went through something real in their life, let me tell you something. Those upheavals, those battles, it take time to heal from it, take time to elevate from it, take time to learn from it. And everything that you do of, of, of what's going to benefit you, what's going to progress you, what's going to take you to the next level, it's all a process. Healing is a process. Being on this journey, it's a process. And this is why God is, is wanting you to see that you are not alone in this process. You're not alone in this journey that he's taking with you. He is holding your hand through every heartbreak, through ever, every tear that ever, like I said, every, every tear you ever cried, every piece of, of pain feeling that you've ever felt that was not good. Anything, any time that you've ever went through something and, 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 and it did not better you and it hurt you and it had you feeling like, I don't know what's going to come next for me. I don't know what I want, you know, for my life or out of my life. I don't know what I'm going to do. But there's a lot of times, like I say, that that we go through things in life when we may feel like we're alone, but, you know, you're never alone. And there's always someone out there that you can connect with and talk to that will let you know and give you some insight as to how to heal and progress from it. It's, it's all, like I said, a community of people. We come together, and this is why I say this is a judgment-free zone uh, channel because we've all gone through things in our life where, you know, we didn't make the right decision and it placed us in some and we was in some toxic situations. We, we did things and we knew right from wrong. We still chose to do what, what was wrong. But in doing that, like I say, God always had a plan for you. And he's such a caring and a loving God. And this is why he said, you know, I allowed you to go ahead and make those mistakes. And I want you to know that at the end of the day, I knew you was going to come back around to me. It's a journey. It's a process. Because once you realize that that's not where you want to be and you want better for yourself, you can start to step into what it is that I have for you. What I say, sometimes you got to lose yourself in order to find yourself again. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. We can strive for perfection and ask for God's guidance and trying to do what's right and, and better in ourselves. But that takes work. It takes time. It takes effort. And it's a process, but it's a necessary journey and path to take and be on. If you don't value you, no one else will. Seems like I always fall short of being worthy. This is how y'all felt. I ain't good enough, but this is what God wants you to know. But he still loves you. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of times you feel like you wasn't worthy. You just, a lot of people really did a number on some of y'all. But the key is to not fester in that energy, but to channel that energy towards bettering yourself and saying, I don't care how you feel about me. This is my life. So, I'm going to do what it takes to feel good about self. I'm going to do what it takes to love self. I'm going to do what it takes to prioritize self so I can be happy living this life that God blessed me to live. I can live it the way that I want to live it. You understand what I'm saying? Took me a while 
but I'm finally here. It took you a while to realize it though. And I just wanna testify, make it crystal clear. See, I've been beat down, talked about. I've been bad mouth, I didn't do right to he turn my life around. Seems like I always fall short of being worthy. I ain't good enough, but he still loves me. I ain't no superstar, the spotlight ain't shining on me. I ain't good enough, but he still loves me. There's a lot of times that you feel like you ain't good enough because of the decisions that you made, because of the people that you probably grouped up with, because of the actions that you probably took, the things you used to do, the people you wrote, whatever you feel. But I'm here to tell you, it does not matter about any assets, any tangible things that you may feel like, you know what, if I don't have these things, I ain't good enough. If if I wasn't able to achieve this by a certain time, a certain season of my life, I ain't good enough because there's a lot of people who may be, like I say, on the surface, you may not see what it is that they have or that they have anything. But spiritually, they're rich in spirit. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're rich in spirit. They're rich mentally. Because why I say that? Because there's a lot of people who, at the end of the day, they may not have all the millions of dollars in their bank account or have the fancy cars or the houses, all this type of stuff, right? All the things that people say you have to have in order to be somebody. But they're rich in spirit. They're rich mentally because they understand that this is a process. They understand the journey that they're on. It's not for everybody else to understand it. They know the path that they're taking. They know the path that they're on. They know who they are. They don't need no one else to believe it because they believe it. That's where you need to start getting to. That's the mindset that you need to start having. And if you have the millions in your bank account, still be rich in your spirit and still be rich mentally to give back, to do for others because you know, at the end of the day, you have this mindset of saying, I'm not, I know what it took for me to get here. I know it wasn't easy. I know it was a process. I don't mind helping somebody else. And if you're not there in your life, you're taking it easy on yourself. You're asking God for the guidance. You're doing and taking the necessary steps to prioritize yourself, to value yourself, to realize your self-worth because you know where you're going. It's not where you are. It's where you're going. And you know and you believe that you're going to get there. You have faith. And you continue to move in good faith. You continue to do right by others. You continue to believe in God and hold on to his unchanging hand because you know that he's walking with you. And you know that he already deems you worthy of everything that he's bringing your way, everything that he has brought your way, all the rewards and the blessings and the glory and the peace and the happiness that he wants for you, you shall have because you are deserving of it. I want you to start realizing that. And until next time, I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, life example, you already know you got it in me. I'm your sister. I'm your friend. I'm your confidant. You already know I come with that real, never that fake. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you. Okay? Continue to reach one, teach one, bring others to the JC gang. And until next time, I want you to stay prayed up and be blessed. Enjoy this time with your family. Happy holidays. Continue to... Uh, move in good faith, have faith that God will do what it is that he say he's going to do for you. And I wish you nothing but peace, love, blessings, and happiness in your life. I love y'all. Until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. Bye.